Hello, how are you? Hope you are doing well. So today I'm going to introduce a very new project that is brain tumor detection project or brain tumor prediction project. So this is a machine learning based project, especially you can tell that deep learning project. So let me take you through this beautiful project. So as we all know, this is MRI scan of a brain. So let me take you through how first MRI is done on patient and how doctor does all the procedure and how this machine learning is helping to predict and detect this brain tumor detection. See, if you will see how mm, this uh, MRI works, so simple is that. So you have seen that uh, patient have, have to sleep on this and then this goes or this goes here and then it reveals and then it takes different pictures of like body uh, but we are uh, working on this brain tumor so it takes pictures of brain. So after that uh, picture taking we get a MRI scan of like this. So then doctor analyze by visualizing it like we got this lump or we got this any uh, detection of some uh, worm or something which is struck in the brain then after that doctor come to the conclusion that what operation what surgery or what medication should be given to patient for the removal of this tumors but see uh, like we all are engineers so we should also have this uh, in, in medical system so we have done machine learning algorithm based pr uh, prediction on this uh, brain tumor. Let me take you through this project. See in this project in nutshell if I will tell you that we have taken the MRI images. We will use uh, machine learning algorithm especially CNN algorithms. You can tell us that deep learning algorithms then we have analyzed then we have visualized and then we have predicted. And after that, we will we are able to tell that the in this image which are the tumor one and which are the non-tumor one. See, as we all know, uh, if we see from the basic, this is a brain. In brain, we have cerebrum, brain stem, cerebellum. Okay, and then there is spine cord, then which is go, goes to spine uh, cord till the like back of our body. So it's all our interconnecting part. So safeguarding brain is very important, but what happened due to some unfortunate incident or something like due to unfortunate work we get uh, brain tumors. See what is brain tumor? See brain tumor occurs when abnormal cell form within the brain. There are two main types of tumor, cancerous tumor and benign tumors. Cancerous tumor is divided into primary tumor which start within the brain, secondary tumor which have spread from elsewhere known as brain metastasis tumor. All type of brain tumors may produce symptoms that are very depending on the part of brain involved. These symptoms include headaches, seizure, problem with vision, vomiting, mental challenges. So the headache is classically worse in the morning goes with the vomiting. Other symptoms may include walking, speaking with uh, someone or when we get different types of stimulus, you can say sensation. So see, like when we get a migraine, there is very famous medication. We are getting like next dome, uh, different types of, uh, you can tell the like down. But still brain tumor is something which is very deadly cancer. So we need to prevent it. We need to help our doctor and medical system to prevent it and detect it in early stages so that patient can be safe. See what data set we are using. See in this data set we are using three, three things. First is like uh, hundreds of picture of MRI of brain. Second we are using the CSV data of it. See we in India we are getting 1 million cases per year. It can be treated by uh, medical professionals. It need a medical diagnosis, lab test, imaging always required. But oh, like after lab test, what if suppose the doctor is visualizing 
but still sometime people make mistake but see machine don't mistake don't make mistake machines is always right if machine gives the prediction result more than 80 percent of people can uh, at least trust on that so after uh, they can uh, come to the conclusion that what that position is having seeing brain tumor which part of world is uh, suffering see our india yes we are getting one million cases per year china australia south africa yes europe and then america america have the largest number of brain cancers people uh, this is brazil and this is america so let's go to the another one uh, now what are we using to detect it see we are going to use machine learning algorithm that is deep learning algorithm especially we are going to use deep learning algorithm now what are this deep learning machine learning artificial intelligence as i have made the some videos on this deep learning machine learning and then artificial intelligence but still i will tell you that deep learning is a technique to perform machine learning inspired by our brain owned networks of neurons means which we, we are using neural network to predict okay usually machine deep learning is a subset of machine learning machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence see what is the working progress so first we will get a uh, like data from the patients from when they will do a mri scanning of their brain then we will observe the data set then we will convert into training set and test set then we will use machine learning especially you can tell that machine learning algorithm then deep learning algorithm will be there and then we will get, get the accuracy prediction and stats as a result what is tensor flow the tensor flow is a free and open source software library for data flow and differentiable programming across a range of tasks it is a symbolic math library it is also used for machine learning applications such as neural network so next important is what is keras keras is a open source neural network library done in python it is capable of running on top of tensorflow microsoft cognitive toolkit r programming and play demo see when you will uh, when we talk about this keras keras and tensorflow all are interconnected when in python when you will install pip install tensorflow the keras will come automatically if you uh, like install this pip requirement one then also keras and tensorflow will come automatically now come to the conclusion see in this project we are proposing a computerized method for the segmentation identification of brain tumor using convolutional neural network which is a deep uh, learning uh, algorithm as machine learning the input mr images okay are read from the local device using file path converted into grayscale images these images are pre processed using adaptive bilateral filtering technique for the elimination of noises that are present inside the original image the bandwidth thresholding is applied to the diagnostic image and the convolutional neural network segmentation is applied which helps in finding <laughs> so which helps in figuring out the tumor region in the mri images the proposed model which the model which we are working we are getting accuracy more than the 84 percent even when we increase the epoch model in the convolutional neural network we are getting accuracy of more than 90 percent so this is one of the best model for predicting the brain tumor so we got to know that machine learning is helping doctor and patients 10,000 everyday cases we can predict easily with the software and a lot of people need help from us especially engineers like us and what percentage the success we are getting 85 percentage our doctors can rely upon it and still in 50 percent doctors should see one on that so as per like in the new version in future we will increase this model to we will try it for the 95 percent even 99 percent so in the team presentation you can uh, paste your picture write your names and your class names so thank you uh, if you have any queries if you want ppt synapses research paper project document project thesis research paper anything of this project you can 
mail me at this mail id watsan007 at the rate gmail.com don't forget to like and subscribe this video this will help you and other people also if you need any kind of computer science projects you a uh, machine learning projects on or even on blockchain projects you can contact me mail me i will help you thank you